Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the functions of uh, system security. The functions of system security. The topic that we are uh, discussing today is purely with respect to the power system security okay in power system security the system security has a three major functions okay the system security has three major functions first one is a system monitoring Second one is uh, contingency analysis. And third one is uh, optimal power flow. Okay, in today's class, we are going to discuss. Uh, these topics first one is system monitoring second one is a contingency analysis and third one is optimal power flow these three are with respect to power system security okay I'm moving on to the first topic uh, system monitoring System monitoring in a power system provides uh, the operators of the power system with real-time information on the conditions that are occurring in the power system. It provides real-time information on the conditions that are occurring in the power system and system monitoring also gets the parameter uh, monitored it gets uh, parameters monitored in the power flow and uh, for example uh, we will be having a bus voltage and um, bus current frequency power okay etc these are the param parameters that will be monitored in system monitoring along with uh, these will be monitoring a uh, generator outputs and tap positions of the transformers okay in system monitoring we will be having the real time information of the conditions occurring in the power system along with that we will be monitoring the parameters like bus voltage current frequency and power etc also the circuit breaker uh, positions okay along with that we will be also measuring generator outputs and uh, tap positions of the transformer while doing all these things we will be having a huge data to process right to get all this information will be end up with a huge data to be handled and for these huge data to be handled we are having a modern computers with the artificial techniques to manage the data right and 
to monitor the flow of data we'll be having uh, central computers to monitor the flow of data we'll be having central computers for uh, checking the incoming data for a violation and immediate alerts in the computer if there are any variation in the voltage or bus current or the frequency or the power along with the generator output or the tap positions of the transformer along with the circuit breaker positions if there is any variation the incoming data for the violation will be immediate alert in the computer in the central computer systems and sometimes in the distribution uh, computers also for these things to monitor all these things nowadays we are using uh, SCADA which allows the operator to take control actions to correct the overload or out of the limit voltages along with the other control techniques also SCADA we all know it's a modern day technique that we are using in our distribution side also the SCADA system okay, supervisor control and data acquisition system where it controls uh, uh, the actions or the violations in the bus voltages or the overload condition or the underload conditions that will be monitored in the SCADA system itself okay these are all the things that comes under system monitoring okay now moving on to the second uh, parameter or the second function contingency analysis Second one is contingency analysis. In contingency analysis, we are going to analyze the faults and disturbances in power system, which can lead to the serious troubles and cascading effects. Okay, contingency analysis. We are going to analyze the faults and disturbances in the power system which can lead to some uh, trouble or cascading effects on the system uh, stability. Okay. Uh, if you neglect these things, the faults and the disturbances uh, if you neglect which may leads to the blackouts if you neglect the faults and disturbances in the power system which may leads to the blackouts hence contingency analysis is a part of a modern energy management system we all know nowadays uh, we all are having an AMS even in uh, the distribution uh, side also uh, we call it as a energy management system okay to manage the energy from the generation to the distribution nowadays we are having distributed generations where the energy needs to be managed effectively without any interruptions okay uh, uh, when it comes to uh, these parts of the power system like whenever the fault occurs or the disturbances in the power system uh, the negligence leads to the blackouts or the energy management system comes into picture uh, with respect to distribution side uh, during these analysis the contingency analysis 
is important in two areas of uh, the power system. First one is to operate the system in such a manner that it remains visible, viable, it remains viable following any contingency. To operate the system in such a manner that it remains viable following any contingency. Viable means the system dependency. We can rely on the system even any contingency occur. Okay. And second one, online control of the system during emergency. Okay. The online control of the system during emergency these two are the area where the importance of the contingency analysis in the power system even sometimes uh, the co contingency may occur after occurring of the contingency how much we can rely on the system plays a major role that is what uh, our system security is uh, mainly concerned about okay the above functions these two functions uh, First one, the operation of the system and uh, online control of the system have to be performed uh, very quickly in terms of seconds or in terms of minutes depending on the contingency. Okay, when the system generation, transmission and the load loss, the balance of the system okay, needs to be managed during such conditions. If there is some load loss or the generation failure or the transmission failure, okay, there may occur voltage uh, imbalance, okay, under voltage, voltage imbalance means under voltage or over voltage. Second one, thermal overload. of lines if the square or losses are huge thermal overload of the lines may occur and which may also leads to insufficient stability margins if the generation or the transmission or the load flow imbalance occur leads to the following uh, violations like a uh, voltage imbalance thermal overload of the lines or insufficient uh, stability margins okay these occurs if there is an imbalance in the generation or the transmission or the load flows okay these two are the three major uh, functions of uh, one among the three major functions of uh, system security first one was a uh, system monitoring where we are uh, collecting the data and monitoring the data and second one is a uh, contingency analysis that we discuss now and the third one is a uh, optimal power flow optimal power flow plays an important role in system security okay for uh, optimal power flow to be understand uh, effectively please follow the above tag or the video link that is uh, provided in the description okay uh, 
the detail of the optimal power flow is discussed in the separate uh, section okay please go through the video for uh, optimal power flow for system security okay this is about the functions of system security if you people have any doubts please do uh, message on my comment box will be connected thank you